Hi there, it's Todd O'Hare from NW10 Photography. Just doing a very quick video tutorial for you um, on how to scan an image using this scanner you see in front of front of you, um, which is the Epson Perfection V500 Photo Scanner. Um, it's an excellent scanner in my opinion. I haven't owned any before, so I can't compare it against uh, anything else. But uh, in my opinion, it's fantastic for the price, as you can see here and it scans it, your images up to a 6400 uh, dpi resolution so how do i scan um really easy you get um two different uh holders um you get one which will hold your 120 film and one which will hold your 35 mil as well as um slides now I'm scanning a 35mm negative today so I've placed that into the uh, holder and onto the flatbed scanner. For the purposes of uh, the tutorial I've already done the preview scan so I'm just going to um, open the windows for you but when you press the green button, the scan button on your uh, Epson Perfection V500 scanner um, this will pop up but not as you can see it, it will be in full auto mode what you want to do is you want to go to mode and select professional mode and that gives you all these different settings that you can play with now for the purposes of scanning film this is what needs to be uh, set up so the first thing you want to do is go to document type and choose film uh, choose the type of film that you're scanning black and white or color negative in this case color negative you choose the image type I want 48 bit color as you can see in the drop down menu you've got options that you can choose from uh, 48 bit 24 bit etc um, resolution you've got the flexibility here of either selecting from the drop down menu or selecting your own um, just for the purposes of the uh, tutorial I'll show you that you can select your own I'm choosing 4000 dpi um, two other things that you need to bear in mind sorry three other things before you um, do your preview tick the unsharp mask box the dust removal box and the thumbnail box when that is done you press preview and this is what you will get you will get um, these uh, thumbnails of images that have been um, sort of pre-scanned for you. Also you will see that you've got check boxes 1, 2, 3 and 4. What this means is that uh, whichever frame, thumbnail frame you have ticked that is going to be scanned onto your computer. For the purposes of this tutorial I'm going to deselect 1, 3 and 4 and keep number two selected. I'm going to select full frame so that I can see the full image. Obviously you can see it's upside down so I go to frame, I press it once, I press it twice, it rotates it. Now you can see here the image needs to have a few adjustments. Using this software it's very quick and very easy. You go to the adjustment section here and select histogram adjustment this is what pops up. Now you can play around with this particular uh, adjustment uh, graph here but you don't want to. What you want to do is you reset it. I always start with the reds. Okay so take this slider bring it to the left and take this one bring it to the right like so. I go to the greens and I do exactly the same in the greens as I did in the reds and for the blues as well okay and your image is starting to look as it should for this particular type of film that I used which was Kodak Portra and I think it was 400 ISO when you've done that you go back into your thumbnail make sure this image is selected as you can see the scan button is highlighted if you're in full size it's not but go back to thumbnail and your scan button is highlighted. You press the scan button and then you wait um, for a dialog box to appear like so. It's called File Save Settings. You've got different options here. Now it's asking you where do you want this image to go? Do you want it to go to My Documents, My Pictures or Other? 
if you don't know what other is basically what you can do is you can select um, a folder that you've already got or you can make a new folder and that image will go there and the next box you've got the name of the file in this case I've just selected YouTube image just for the sake of uh, locating it and for what it's for um, and then what you do is you select what format you want your image in you can have TIFF, you can have PDF we're going to select JPEG and then we press OK obviously for the purposes of this tutorial I'm not going to go through the whole scanning process that's going to take uh, forever you've pressed OK and what happens is your image is saved uh, where you've selected your image to be saved and you're now free to do whatever you wish you can open your image up in Photoshop you can do a few adjustments there um, I do tend to find a couple of things um, sometimes you might get a few specks of dust on your image after you've scanned it again open it up in Photoshop and you can remove those very easily it's very quick very easy and um, that's it that's how to scan your image taking it through the whole process um, it's as, a, as an aside um, in terms of uh, value for money I think it's fantastic value for money this Epson Perfection V500 scanner um, I tend to take my negatives um, to a place called Snappy Snaps in Acton which is West London they charge £2.99 for your colour negative film to be developed only or if you want to do black and white film um, I choose a company now called AG Photographic they're based in Birmingham you send them your film they charge £3.99 for black and white film it's worth shopping around and finding out who's cheaper and also reputable and don't forget it saves you a lot of money um, because a lot of companies they charge approximately £15 if you want something to be developed and scanned whereas here you can select the images which you um, want scanning as opposed to all the images I hope that's helped uh, if you've got any feedback please feel free to let me know uh, either by leaving a comment below or email and feel free to subscribe to this page as well by pressing the subscribe button thank you very much and I look forward in sharing another video with you soon bye bye